Here we've got this news tonight about texts that apparently have come from Barnaby Joyce that's calling the, the Prime Minister a, a number of pretty blunt names. I, I don't get it. You know, the Prime Minister is constantly blindsided by his own side at the moment, at a time when we actually really have this sham election campaign started with very little principle, very little values, very little anything. And the Prime Minister again is now arrested mid-step by his own team. Well, the, uh, I, I personally have a rule, Gary, and that is uh, never commit anything to print or to be sent out on <laughs> digital devices that can't withstand being published on the front page of some paper or other, because inevitably exactly right. those things are, are, are vulnerable. And I reckon if you went through the text messaging of almost anyone in that parliament, you would find stuff that uh, would damage somebody else if it was put out there. Now, clearly, someone with a, um, a, a simply a, a desire to bring the prime minister down is doing the leaking. I mean, you can put no other interpretation upon it. And this one of Barnaby Joyce seems to have gone out to a, a coterie of people who might be into that category. He's apologised for Fusey and said he was wrong and he was in a fit of peak when he was on the back bench and so on. But nonetheless, it is still damaging. So the Prime Minister somehow has to get a restart. Um, and it, to hear today that he was um, talking to the West, taking the part of backing up Western Australia and uh, dictator McGowan, seriously, really gave me a great deal of, of concern because there are four seats probably that are vulnerable in Western Australia, as Caroline certainly would know. And uh, I, I think this was an attempt to show that uh, uh, the fact that the Western Australians like him or a number of them in those seats like him, he's probably trying to shore up those votes. But at the end of the day, you have to stick to your principles, I think. Uh, and, and that means the points that Scott was just making about taking that leadership, I have advocated from day one that you have to use the constitutional yep. uh, powers that are there, Section 92. The first case, case failed, as we saw, the Palmer case. Um, and there was a time as soon as uh, the there was a vaccine, saying there was no vaccine was an important part of that judgment. Once we had a, a vaccine, there should have been another case. Perhaps Qantas could have taken that case. But the important thing to, to, to know is that we need to use the powers that are there, otherwise they atrophy. Uh, and yeah, we well, are they do. seeing that's what's they... happened. And we honestly, we want I, I mean, the I, I, I... to literally get out there and start standing strong and start standing that he won't put up with this nonsense, that this pettiness of the text is behind him and he's got to be there speaking of the principles that the Liberal Party stands for and that the supporters of that party want to hear.